I'm going to show you the um, variation of alasana, particularly good to people that have a neck problem. So, uh, as you can see, there are different chairs in such a way that two chairs are supporting your shoulders and uh, it's already creating a traction for the neck, releasing condition. And uh, the other chair will be for your feet. The other chair and uh, the other bolster is more uh, to safety condition, just in case the person lose the balance, and also psychologically, because uh, uh, there is a kind of uh, support behind, so the person don't feel that uh, uh, behind is empty. So I'm going to show how to go inside. So it's important that you are placing the hands uh, with the fingers in the direction of your legs, and then bending the, le uh, bending the arms. And after that, you are going to place the tip of the shoulders on the support of chairs and roll sticky mats. So the head is hanging, the crown of the head is lightly touching on the bolster that is on the floor, and instead the back part of the scale is uh, touching against a fold blanket. After that, you are bending one leg and then the other one, in such a way you are uh, taking the final pose of the alasana and standing the legs, and as the last, uh, you are releasing completely the arms. To move out, you are going to place the hands again, as uh, in the entrance way, and then step down, and then you are going up. You can also use uh, to create the condition of pressure of the arms. So in this case, the support is high, but can be also lower. In such a way, after you can also press the arms against it. This kind of equipment is the uh, same as uh, the chairs before, but it's made by blankets, bolster, and one chair only. The way to enter can be same. But you are kneeling on the floor as the support is uh, lower. or can be done from the other side too. So it's reminding more the classical version how to go in alasana pose. 